Hey there, Internet. Today we're going to be talking about how to take the C files here and use GCC and turn them into executable files that the computer can understand and, in a sense, a mini computer program. Now, as you can see here, I have two very basic C, or in this case, C++ files, and if I open them up, you can see they're just very, very basic code. You know, this one just basically prints out, hello world, and my name is Joey. And this one here is a basic, in a sense, if you want to call it almost a calculator, it basically you can tell it how many numbers you want to add, and then you tell it the numbers you want to add, and it'll just add it up. So it's a basic adder. <clears throat> now before we can run GCC, you need to have GCC installed. So of course you need to open up your terminal because the best way to do this is through the apt-get program. Now because I'm using a Debian based Linux mine will be apt-get there are others such as zipper and yum but it'll vary from your system to system but for most Ubuntu, Linux Mint and other Debian based systems you'll be using apt-get. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can do sudo app get install gcc and again it will install it. Now because I already have it on my system it's basically gonna say you know already installed, can installed. But to make this easier and also if you wanna use gcc to compile other types of codes, you can use the build essentials, which I have here. It's a similar command. It's sudo app get installed build essentials. Again, if you hit enter. Again, I have it in already installed on my computer. So it's going to not install it and it's going to say a bunch of other things, you know, and it's going to say build essentials is already the newest version. <coughs> But again, if you did not already have this installed on your computer, this would be where you would start. Now, I recommend using Build Essentials because this will install any extra components that you need. And not 100% sure, but I do believe this will allow you to run and compile other types of programs outside of C and C++. Now that you've now that we've successfully installed it, the next thing you have to do is you have to use GCC to take these C++ files and turn them into an executable program, an executable program that the computer can understand. So the best way to do this is in terminal. Now I've navigated to the folder here and you can see the folder in the back. Now if you type GCC, the name of the file that you want to turn into an executable program. So in this case, we'll start with hello.cpp. And now we're going to use the output switch or hyphen O. Now, this hyphen O will allow us to not only name the file, but will basically tell Linux, hey, this is an executable file it's okay to run it. And again, you if you really wanted to, you, you don't have to put the hyphen O and you can go in there and use change mod and, um, or I should say ch mod and change and add executable permissions. But for the most part, to make it simple on me and you, if you're following along with this tutorial, just simply use the hyphen O and then you can do hello. We're going to have it the similar name and we're going to do out followed by enter. Uh, now again, because of the way I mounted my drive, it's going to give me an error and say it cannot access this. For the most part, you won't have to use sudo, but again, because the way I mounted my flash drive and I used sudo to activate the mount, it's going to want me to run this using the sudo command. So we'll do this again, and it will just pop down to a terminal like this, but if we go over to our folder where the program or the files and now the program is, you can see it's created this hello.out. Now we want to run this hello.out. So if we do dot slash 
and the name of the f executable file here. There you go. It'll execute it, and it'll do hello world, and my name is Joey, which is what the file was told was programmed to do. Now, we can also do it for the add program that we have here. <clears throat> and we'll move this just to the side, just so you can see the executable file being created. So once again, if we do GCC, this time it's going to be add dot cpp because there's the executable there's the I should say executable there's the file with the code that we want to turn into an executable file hyphen o for the output switch and then we're going to do add dot out and again I forgot to put sudo in front And there you go. Once again, it'll create an add.out executable file. So basically, what's been happening with here is GCC is taking the code, and in a sense, it's turning it into a file and a language that the computer un can understand. Or, in the technical terms, it's called compiling. <clears throat> So, by using GCC, we can compile the add.cpp file into add.out, and also, for the hello cpp, into hello.out. Now, again, if you want to run this, it's dot slot forward slash add dot out, and here you go. It'll ask, how many numbers do I want to add? I want to add, let's start with four. And we'll say well, I want to add one, add one, add two, add three, and add four. And then it'll total it at the end and say 10. If we want again, we can say, let's say we want to add five this time. We'll do one, 10, 100, 1,000. We'll do 1,000 again. And there you go. <clears throat> it totals them at the end. So, Internet. I hope you found this video not only entertaining, but informative. If you liked this video and want to learn some more cool computer things, check out my channel. Also subscribe, and if you found this video extremely helpful, it'll help me out if you share this with your friends or whoever might need to know, learn how to compile code in Linux using, J using GCC. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Ha Bye.